In this video, we will be covering Metaverse Pro, a crypto project where you can earn up to half a million percent. And I'm going to be telling you the story of how I invested $350 and am now sitting at an investment of over 10x, which puts me at around $3,500. On top of that, I'm earning almost half a million APY, which is an interest percentage that I'll be getting the whole year round, as long as I keep it in there. But without further ado, let's jump straight into Metaverse Pro, where I'll be covering what this is, how I ended up discovering it, how I 10 x my investment, what I think the future is of this project, and my impressions of this project now that I've been in it a couple of weeks. First, Metaverse Pro, what is it? Try to explain it as simple as possible because I am not a crypto expert and this is not financial advice. Lately, negative interest rates have hit my bank account. So what I've been trying to do is diversify and looking more into crypto. A lot of crypto projects are coming up now and offering crazy interest rates for people who are willing to take the risk on it. So I've taken some of my funds and diversified into high risk projects. One of these projects was Metaverse Pro, which is a project on the Binance Smart Chain Network. Now, what does that mean? Because I had to discover myself how this all works. Very simple, when you go to something like Binance, you can buy different coins. And depending on whether it goes up or down, you'll be able to earn money. It's kind of like stocks. When you buy a Tesla stock and it goes up, you'll earn money if you sell, of course. If it goes down, you'll lose money. Well, same thing with first stage of crypto. You buy Bitcoin, it goes up, or it goes down and you win or you lose money. However, there's a new way of making money with crypto that I've discovered and that is projects. So in these projects, same thing, have a coin that goes up and down in value, but to compensate for the volatility, they also offer interest. And that's where we'll use Metaverse as an example. So I go to the Binance network and I buy BNB, which is the coin. In order to trade this and buy certain things like a Meta coin, which is a coin that you'll be using to get interest for Metaverse Pro, I have to bridge that towards the smart chain network, which is really easy to do. Once you're in your wallet and you have your BNB, you can just send it over to the smart chain network with one click. Once this is transferred, you will need a wallet called MetaMask. This is one of the most common wallets from what I understand and has been quite easy to use for me. So once I have my BNB on the smart chain network, I transfer it to my MetaMask. The way I do that is by clicking the account number on it and just inputting it into my wallet. Once the money has arrived on my MetaMask wallet, I make sure to now look at interesting projects on the Smart Chain Network. Why do I choose the Smart Chain Network? Well, it kind of seems to be the easiest one for me at the moment. I have dabbled into other networks like Moon River and of course the Ethereum network. The issue that I have on the Ethereum network that I discovered really quickly is the gas fees. Every time you buy a project or switch a coin or transfer something, you have to pay something which is called gas fees. This is for the fact that you're transferring or doing something with this money. On the Ethereum network, the gas fees are extremely expensive, which is why I've been looking into diversifying into other projects on other networks like the Binance network, which is famous for really cheap gas fees. Of course, there are other ones like Avalanche and Moon River, which I've dabbled into, and there are other videos coming on that topic. But for now, we're gonna stick to Binance network because it seems to be very easy for me to access. So once I have money in my MetaMask wallet, I start exploring projects. Now Metaverse popped up because in this stage I'm looking a lot at Metaverse projects. Facebook just changed its name to Meta. There's a lot of things happening. A lot of games are being released. Apparently there's a game out there where people are making it their full-time job for playing this game. What I understand is that the future does look quite bright when we look at the virtual world and the Metaverse is one of those things. And the virtual world is going to inhabit a lot of people that are gonna need some type of money to pay for things. But also some of those people would like to lend some of that money. 
So that's how I discovered Metaverse. They're working on a lend project where you could lend and leverage money to potentially do things with it. And when I discovered it, I found it for $60. Currently, it is trading at around $450, which means that when I got in and I bought it at $350, I 10x my money just by holding the coin Meta. However, in the meantime, I've also received the percentage that I talked about prior. And the way you do that is by staking your coin, which means you take it out of circulation and because you take it out of circulation the value of the coin goes up and to incentivize you to do that you get a percentage from the project so here are some pros and cons that i discovered while i was going through this project myself and experiencing in the last couple of weeks what they are doing well and what they're doing wrong so one of the things that i felt a little bit sketchy about is of course the team is anonymous which there are certainly a couple of projects out there currently where the team is not anonymous. However, even though they are anonymous, their Discord community, which at the beginning I wasn't sure about, seems to be really nice and very supportive. They are very long-term view. Most of them are in there to hold it for quite long. And the ones that jumped in it when I jumped in it, which is like around $65, seem to be in it for the long haul. At this point, most of them got their profits out and they're still keeping quite some money in there, which means that the value of the project keeps going up and even though we've had some terrible losses with Bitcoin lately this project seems to be keeping itself stable and keeps going up which is quite surprising it's also hitting some charts which I've been liking a lot because it allows me to track it outside of their own platform which makes it more believable for me in general you tend to find that the founders behind it seem to be quite communicative and the discord seem to answer questions so even though my experience so far has been positive it doesn't mean that it's going to be going on for long so that's where the risk comes in all new projects tend to last only a certain amount. But what I do like is that the market cap has barely hit 100 million, and that is actually quite small when you compare it to other projects like Wonderland or Olympus DAO, which is the most common comparison that people tend to use. Those projects tend to give an APY, which is the interest percent, of around 80,000%. So this project, which is offering half a million percent, seems to be still having a lot of space to give more percentage away so this is quite early so if they make it they have the potential to 10x or 20x of course it's very risky but I am definitely keeping my money in there so far it has more than 10x for me and that is barely with the staking so I'm quite excited to see what happens if I just keep my money at the end of the day I'm still looking to diversify and it's better than negative bank rates and this is one of the projects that popped up that I truly liked of course let me know if you have any comments throughout the video I've tried to explain with screen share how you can actually get into it of course there are probably more detailed questions but for that i just highly advise to go through the discord through their articles and twitter they seem to be quite engaging there are many questions that are being answered and i've also joined their reddit and it seems like people are really answering there as well i usually tend to judge a project based on how active their discord is and also how good their reddit community seems to be when the community is too negative or too hopeful seems like there are some red flags in there but of course if you combine that with a good discord community it could be worth the risk of course it is a risk but if you have some money left over and you want to test out new projects this could be one that is worth it but i'll definitely give you an update if you want to know more if you have any questions just hit the like button and comment below and i'll try to answer as much as possible hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one